All right, good morning, members. It is 9.15 Tuesday, October 13th, and we see that SPY is pulling back here, down just about a dollar pre-market. Well, some key levels we're watching is the 20-period moving average resistance, which has started to knock the price down. That level is 273. You can see we have the 100 and 200 period moving average on the five minute chart, our resistance. And we're looking at support back here, the low of 245, and then the low pre market of 236. After that, we're heading down to psychological 200 level, and we'll see if that breaks. Also, want to point out SUNY might be a nice short today if we do see SPY pulling back and SUNY following along as we have lost all moving average support on the five minute chart there. Low of the day yesterday, 857 support. And after that, we have the 10 day moving average, which was at about 841 and will change with the open today. Let's check out Facebook for John here. Facebook is getting rejected multiple times from the 200 period moving average resistance, 9382, that is a key level. And support will be down here at 9348. Checking Netflix, same thing, rejected from the 200 period moving average resistance of 113.43, could not hold the 100 period, so that is resistance as well, 113.29, and we're going to start having to look at different time frames for these stocks if we do keep seeing pullback as the 5 minute charts are going to have all moving averages as resistance. So we can see here 30 minute charge support for Netflix, 112.74. So make sure today, if we do see continued pullback, that you are checking many time frames. As far as CDZI and SIEN for bottom plays, SIEN has shown a little bit more support. CDZI is closed right at the low of the day, so we're going to need to see where that opens up. Um, those are definitely both on watch for bounce plays, but need to see some more bullish activity there. We'll be watching them in the morning. Let's see where CDZI, if they have any pre-market volume here. Not much, 298, I might be mixing those two up, S-I-E-N. CDZI needs to turn $3 into support. We were rejected from that level yesterday, and that is a key level. And S-I-E-N, you can see here the 100 period moving average knocked down the price twice yesterday, and that level is 615. Need to turn that into support for some kind of bounce to develop. Twitter. Had a spike here first thing in the morning up to 30.82, pulled back, held the 200 period moving average support of 29.21, and we're now heading back up. So we'll see if this is a consolidation pattern that we will play. We have the support, key support at 29.21. If that get lo gets lost, Twitter might be a nice short again. PCLN, consolidating a bit here pre market, not a lot of volume or action, and we are seeing. 1347 is currently where we're trading. We're below the 20 period moving average. 100 period moving average is all the way down at 1336, but we have a bunch of support levels, all these little pullbacks that saw higher highs. So we have a low of 1347. That's where we're at right now. Next support after that is 1342. And then we will head down to 1336, the 100 period moving average support. Resistance is the high of the day. 135250 dust gold miner bears pulling back below 100 period support that level is 1488 so clear support and resistance 1488 resistance 1417 support 200 period moving average on the 5 minutes so see where we trade in this channel if we're able to turn resistance into support it will be bullish and if we break below this support it will be bearish for dust TANH is certainly the focus. We want to see a break of 755. Then we've got 777 and 793. If we can break into the $8 range, we could see a quick dollar up to $9. There's not much resistance at these levels, just the high of the days seen in the $7 range so far. So need to hold 675 support, and we'll see if we can turn $7 into support today. That would be very bullish. TTPH, no pre-market volume. We closed at 871. Checking out the daily chart, we have middle Bollinger Band resistance of 936 and key 10-day moving average support of 849. If we lose 849, we will likely come down and test potentially 750, which is must-hold support, but before 750, we have 796, which was the low on October 6th. 
Let's see what Tesla is doing. Or CJJD. 222. Need to check out the daily chart. Fifty-day moving average support of 197 could be a gap and trap. I never like playing these uh, mid to small cap stocks on gap ups. You can see we've only had let's see 20,000, 27,000 shares at two dollars. That's about sixty thousand dollars. That means someone in our room with deep pockets could have caused this run up entirely on their own pre market here. So just be aware of that with little stocks. Right now, SPY is trading at 255. We have 258 support. After that, we're looking at 200 even psychological support. And after that, let me pull up the SPY daily chart. We are looking at the 50-day moving average, 198.59. We do have a high of day on October 7th of 199.82, so that could potentially act as support as well. But we'll take it one step at a time. Currently 20, 258, and after that, 200 even. OAS, pre-market, down to 11.99, 20 period moving average resistance of 12.11. Then we got 12.40 and 13.03, so looking like we are opening fairly lower today. Checking out the daily chart. Pullback from 200-day moving average resistance, lost 100-day moving average support of 1236 yesterday. 10-day moving average is 1148, and that's going to open higher today. So watch for that level as where we're going to find support. And resistance is 1236 on the daily chart for OAS. Let's take a look at Tesla. We are watching Tesla for a bounce. Uh, Zen's going to be on it with his clouds, and I'm going to be on it with my style, so we should get a nice coverage of what is going on. We are down to 213. We have the 100 period resistance of 215.38. 20 period is now support of 213.25, so we'll see if we can get some bullish momentum going. Looking like a gap down to open the day so far. KND 1443 resistance. If we break 1445, it will be a very bullish sign. KND is looking good to 1570 was the 200 week moving average resistance last week, but that has been updated with the new week today. So let's check out what the 200 week average is. It's 1573, and that's the resistance I am looking at to get to for Tesla. Excuse me, not Tesla, that's KND. Tesla is what's on my screen right now. Let's check back in with SPY. Still losing this rejection from 200, 20 period moving average resistance. 271 is that level. Support was just found at 243 and a low here of 247. So we'll see if we break that and head to a lower low. RSI is 36. Checking Netflix again, still getting rejected from those key resistances. And again, make sure you're checking all time frames now. Apple's down fairly big. 110 even is going to be psychological support on Apple. If we close below that, we could come down to 107.50. We had a lot of people bullish Apple, and it's opening pretty significantly lower here today. SUNY support is 8.57. We also have the 10 day moving average support, which was 841. That's going to change with the open, of course. So that's going to increase on the open. The low bounced off yesterday just above that level. So we'll be watching 857, then 841, but that's going to move up to potentially 845 ish. And then after that, we are coming down to $8 psychological resist or support. So SUNY wasn't following precisely with SPY as it has in the past. We're going to keep our eye and see if that pattern is fading. I sure hope not because that was how we used it to make lots of profitable entries and exits. So we got five minutes until the open here. SPY is not 
looking bullish to start the day, which is what we were anticipating after the previous two candlesticks. And I know some members are in SPY puts, so we're rooting for it to go down here. We'll see if PCLN pulls back. Amazon getting rejected from that 550 level and is has 100 period resistance of 548.58, 20 period resistance of 547.48, and I have the 200 period moving average support of 544.25. I know Zen said his was a little different, but I haven't altered my settings at all, so not sure what the discrepancy is there. And should certainly see a lot more volatility in the market today compared to yesterday. Yesterday we had an 85 cent range, which is extremely small considering we've seen two and three dollar ranges in the past couple months. But we'll attribute that to the holiday. Maybe there's a whole bunch more Canadians trading the markets than we anticipated. GoPro is down below 28. We have 27.86 was the low yesterday, and it's right at that level right now. We'll see if it can hold that and form a double bottom. Let's see what other SPY supports we have on different time frames. We got the hourly chart, 199.55. 30-minute chart is 199.53. And the 15-minute chart, no support moving averages. So we could see some fairly significant downside to SPY. There's not a whole lot of moving average support on the shorter time frames. Testing the 20 period moving average resistance, 270. Right before we open here, three minutes to go. Hemp, nice bid at 6.5, which was the close yesterday. 6.7 is resistance. We'll see if we can get a higher high. The 10-week moving average resistance is 6.9. We might see a pullback from that level if the volume does not keep up. I'm not sure if the 10-day period where if the governor doesn't sign it, it automatically goes into law. I'm not sure if that's in effect. If it was, I am sure we would have seen a press release by Hemp stating all systems are go by now and we haven't so we will have to remain cautious of that although we are expecting it to happen but as I said I'm no longer playing hemp as a news play I'm playing it just solely based on the charts because you can't go wrong doing that I wouldn't expect a huge spike from the governor signing but if it did happen and then the news media got all over it and started playing it that would be a different story. VMW, 7086, 20 period moving average resistance of 7133, 100 period moving average resistance of 71 even. Looking at the daily chart again, I know we had a big drop yesterday. 7086, the low yesterday was 69.75. So let's see if we can find some double bottom support there. Currently giving back about a dollar fifty from where we closed from so still some bearish activity it appears for VMW so I'm going to transition as we go into the open here Five, four, three, so we're about to get the open here I'm checking out the VLKAY Volkswagen daily chart and kicking myself because it was a very easy dragonfly doji at the top of an uptrend and now opening significantly lower from that level so here's the open SPY is testing the 20 period moving average resistance right now T-A-N-H, 739, need to break 755, that was a double top yesterday. 
rejection to start the day from the 20 period for SPY. Let's see if we get some downside from there. CDZI, we're looking to break $3. We'll see if that happens. That's on watch. SUNY heading lower. 857 support. GoPro was able to hold the low of the day yesterday, so we'll see if that's going to be a double bottom. And SUNY is heading down even further as we have SPY, the low of the day currently 253. So a lower low compared to that 258 level two days ago, signaling potentially more downside. Tesla dropping big, stocking that bad boy for a bounce. Nice bounce so far. We'll see if this hammer can turn the 20 period back into support. Hit a low of 211.13 here first thing. So seeing a little bit of recovery in SPY and not seeing that on SUNY. So that is worth noting. I think we're seeing a break in that trend. TANH, want to hold $7 ideally as support. KND, 1446 high. We had 1445 resistance, so I'm still considering that resistance. Need to get up in the 1450s and just like that on Q. Looking good. Higher highs for KND. a sell order up for hemp just in case have it all filled out not filling it not pressing the order watching to see if we can get a break of six seven here in hemp So GoPro, interesting double bottom, checking out the daily chart. Had a low of 27.86 and a low today of 27.90. So that is maintaining that support level. 10 day moving average is 29.51, need to close above that level. Entirely possible, Taylor, thank you for that. Nice job, Phi. Nice pullback there. Let's see if Amazon is pulling back as well. Big drop. Here's the 200 period moving average support bouncing off that level. Hit a low of 543. Netflix big drop as well. All the way down to 111.60. Nice $2 drop from the high of the day. And Facebook green here turning the 200 period moving average resistance into support. If we can get above the 100 period 94.07, it will be very bullish and 